Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to walk through how to reset and execute multiple nodes with only a single reset and a single execute. Um, so this will be helpful for uh, when you have a workflow that has multiple uh, data sources and multiple points of output or even a singular point of output. Um, but I'll show you how to narrow or how to boil everything down to two nodes that you execute and reset. To start, we're going to need two nodes. The first one's going to be the string input, which if you go to the node repository and you search string input, like I did over here, you'll see this string input, the little oval with the red dot. You can drag and drop that onto the workflow, and then we'll name this the start, because this is our starting point. And then the second node that we're going to need is the merge variables. So if you search merge variable in your node repository, you'll see over here merge variables. So we'll drag and drop this towards the end of our workflow. And we'll name this the end since this is going to be the end point. Uh, a quick shout out to my coworker, Andrew, uh, because I actually saw this trick in one of his workflows that he shared with me. And when I saw it, I thought it was so simple yet so genius that I had to incorporate it into some of my work. Um, so shout out Andrew. Okay, so let's get started. To understand what we're going to do here, we first have to think about how everything in NIME flows from left to right. That is to say, I can't execute this node until the data in the previous node or nodes is executed. Um, so at the end point of each workflow, if you would execute all the nodes before it, have to execute in order to the in, in order for the endpoint I'm sorry to execute so keep that in mind as that's what we're gonna do or that's the logic behind what we're about to do right now so to configure the string input since it's yellow it means it needs to be executed the string input isn't really anything but making an application of the logic we just talked about so for the string input we're just gonna say this is our dummy variable because we're not actually using it for anything. And for the default value, we're gonna say doesn't, doesn't matter, mate. Because it really doesn't matter what we have in here at this point. So we'll hit apply, we'll hit okay, we'll right click, and we'll execute this node. So now you can see the node is set to dummy variable of doesn't matter, mate, because it doesn't really matter. What we're gonna do next is what's important. We're going to take this flow variable and connect it to every single starting point of our workflow. So now what we're doing here is we're extending that, that um, logic or the thought that in order for these um, in order for these nodes to execute or to be able to execute, this node has to be executed. The re reverse of that is actually though, if we'll show it actually here and then we'll talk about it so i'm going to execute these right so you can see they're all green i executed them with f7 the reverse is also true if a step prior to these is not executed then these can no longer be executed by default so what that means is if we reset this string input which i'll reset with f8 so that you guys can see the colors change if we reset this then every single node that's uh, got data flowing to it behind or data flowing to it from this single node if this is reset then those nodes will also reset ready so I'm gonna reset the string input I'll hit OK reset and notice how all the nodes connected to it that receive data from it are also reset so that's step one right we've got now how to reset multiple nodes with the hit of with the switch of only one node what we're going to do next is configure the endpoint. So what we're going to do now is take each of our output points, flow variables, and we're going to connect it to this merge variable, right? So we're going to take from here, connect to here. Mind you, we have three outputs. The merge variable by default only has two inputs. So what you can do is if you hover in the bottom left corner, you see there's three dots that turns gray when you hover over it. If you click on it you can add an input port 
you can add as many as you want I haven't really tested the limits of it so knock yourself out uh, drop a comment if you find the limit of it um, but anyways you can also remove by going back in there into the gray three dots and then hitting remove input port so we'll keep three since our workflow only calls for three outputs that we need executed we'll connect them all to the merge variable right so now back to our logic if we execute this merge variable then that means in order for it to execute everything behind it that flows data to it has to execute as well so because we have our outputs connected to this final point if we execute this final point everything that's connected to it will by default also execute in sequence so if we right click and we hit execute notice how the workflow is all yellow because everything is configured when we execute everything should fully execute and be in green so I'll click execute and just like that everything is executed all from a single node uh, execution so now the final just to show you guys in practice let's say it's a new day and I want to run this workflow I'm gonna go over to the string input reset it or hit F8 I always like to use a shortcut so I'll hit F8 hit OK notice how everything went yellow now meaning it's configured ready to be executed I'll go to the merge variable right click execute with F7 and now everything's executed once again so that's a quick hack to reset and execute multiple nodes at once uh, which is especially helpful for large complex workflows shout out again to my coworker Andrew this is a genius yet simple trick um, if you guys have any questions or need anything clarified or if you have suggestions for a video you'd like to see in the future drop it in the comments I'll get back to you as soon as I can Otherwise, don't forget, to, don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share this video with your friends that might find it useful. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video.